what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i want to talk about red flags to look for from a narcissist especially a narcissistic partner when you hold them accountable for the way they treat you now that's not going to be the whole title of the video but that is what i'll be talking about i'm gonna kind of break it down you know based off scenarios and things like that dealing with a narcissistic partner or maybe even a spouse so in the beginning you know sometimes there's love bombing but sometimes it's not and when there's not any love bombing from a narcissist it's because a lot of times when we first meet someone we do the things that narcissists normally do you know they may look at it as love bombing because that's the hand they play with so that's what they're used to you know a narcissist will always have the mindset of i'm gonna get them before they get me you know they always think you know out of paranoia you know so sometimes we're the one who meets them and sweep them off their feet and a lot of times, narcissists aren't expecting to have to just sit back and wait to make the move. Because they normally are quick to, to move on things. They want things to go kind of fast. They need it to move pretty quickly so that they can have you, you know. That's why they use the love bombing. But again, sometimes they don't have to because we make it easy on them, you know, so that they don't have to do as much as they normally do again. So everybody doesn't get it, though. Everybody don't get the love on me in the beginning. Now, narcissists, a lot of it comes from low self-esteem, lack of self-confidence and just not having love for self as you should so you know we go out and we look for love in all the wrong places and we end up in the arms of a narcissist and we'll start to see the red flags and when we open our eyes and notice the pattern of abusive behaviors that we dealt with for so long that's when we'll start to question them sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it's right away but you know, it's up to us to decide how we're going to deal with it because sometimes things move so fast with narcissists. You know, then we end up in a situation that's not easy to just back out of. But once we do, you know, they kind of make it hard for us to let go. And if you are in a relationship with a narcissist, and you start to see those red flag patterns and you don't want to let it go you know you don't want to give up on them you sometimes just want to give them the second chance because they say all the right things you know you give them that second chance you know one thing you've learned and that is how to deal with the narcissist and that we cannot fix them a lot of times we just get used to it. And then they're not willing to change. Because first of all, in order to change something about yourself, you have to admit that there is a problem. And that's something that nurses are not willing to do. And if they are, it's not a genuine change. They're only doing it because they know they're going to get something back from you. Something that's kind of close and near and they got to the only way they can get their hands on it is by playing this game with you. But it's not a game to you. It'll always be a game to the nurses. But that only lasts for so long because before you know it, you'll start to see the nurses show up again. So number one of those red flags are the things they make you question. They make you question their personality traits and number two is deciding if you want to give up on them or give them a second chance to fix things about their behavior 
which is holding them accountable. Number three is after you hold them accountable, they decide, okay, I want to prove to you that I can be a better person and you start to give them that benefit of the doubt and hope that maybe they will work on self. But mind you, narcissists have a tendency of being in control and when they feel like they've lost this power and control over you, then they start to feel that there's no need to work on self. See, because it was all a part of their plot. I'm going to give her what she wants or give him what he wants for so long. And I don't feel like I'm getting nothing back from this. They need constant supply. If that is not fulfilling their needs, they're not going to keep their end of the bargain. They're not going to keep the deal to work on, you know, their self to make a, have a better relationship with you. So they're going to feel like there's no need to work on self. And it's like you have to leave something for them all the time to feel in power and call the shots on, you know. So you start to see other red flags within doing that. And it's like you know what it feels like, but... You do everything you can because you want it to work. And you feel or realize you've fallen back into the trap of being under control. You know. And the narcissist noticed that you've been doing everything now that you've been wanting to do. And they start to use these phrases on you. Like, okay, now I need you to start giving me what I want. So they kind of take you back to being under the power of the narcissistic behavior in a relationship because they've been out of position for so long and you've been in power, you know. So now they are like, look, okay, I've been doing everything that you need me to do. So now can I start getting my way again? They kind of start sound like children, like, okay, my turn. So they never really took it serious about changing, you know. And narcissists, they don't understand that the change is not for you. The change is for them, you know. And when they see that you are sitting in this driver's seat for so long and they are just a passenger in a relationship, now they start to feel powerless to where they kind of flip it like, you're controlling them when in actuality you're giving them the space they need to work on themselves and if they truly want to change and better for the relationship you know they would do that they wouldn't see it that way so it just goes to show that narcissists never really want change because they don't see nothing bad within themselves you know they only wanted to do just enough to keep you in place of providing their needs. Meanwhile, they're playing along as if their intentions are to change. So holding them accountable is about pointing out the wrong in a person. And it can go both ways. Only thing is one is willing to change and the other one is just playing the game like the game goes, you know. They can't read your mind and you can't read their mind. Nobody can. We can't read each other's mind, but we can read patterns. So we kind of know where it's going to go. You know, we can only judge them based off their behavior and mm, they make it so easy because it's a pattern of behaviors that you see over and over again. Which clearly shows that they don't want to change. You know, and this keeps going back. I know y'all probably saying, I'm going to keep repeating myself. It keeps going back to change. You cannot change them. You hold them accountable once you have called them out. And it's like, okay, it's going to be like this or we're over. And narcissists, the only thing they're thinking about is, the only part they heard is, we're over. So they take that as a threat. So they can't, you know, face the, the chances of losing you because now 
they've lost in the game. They don't take life serious. So they're not going to take people serious. They're not going to take their relationship serious enough to work hard for. They just feel like now you're threatening them out of something that they had control over. You know, and it's depending on where you are in that relationship with the narcissist that sometimes they are willing to do the therapy work, you know, but they're still going to, they might, they may just agree to it while they're sitting in therapy. I could pretty much just, I could see how it goes to where narcissists are sitting up there feeling like you're dragging them through a session. So they're sitting up there with the pout look on their face like a child. They don't want to be there. And they're just like, yeah, okay, whatever you say, whatever you say. They don't want to hear it. They're not trying to hear that. Because in their minds, there's nothing wrong with them. You know, and you're just trying to have control over them. And it's not even about that. You know, it's not about having control over them. But again, that's how narcissists think. They feel like I got to get them before they get me. They're going to always think that you're out to get them. It's something that you're trying to expose. They did so much dirt within their track record. They're always afraid that it's going to catch up with them. Narcissists, they always seem like they're getting away with stuff because they're always on the run. And they kind of relocate. You know, they uproot and relocate so much. Because they, they start over somewhere new and they start a new track record. You know, they are track stars. They're always running from the past, starting over again. They don't want to stay there and sit in their mess. They don't want to sit there and be called out for who they are and their bad behaviors and how they treat people. They don't want to hear that. They just rather move on and start over again. But do they change? No, they don't change. You know. So, again, depending on where you are in a relationship with the narcissist, they'll be willing to take their therapy session with you. But they're not really there. They're just there in the physical. They're not really willing to put the time in to work on self. Sometimes they'll agree with you, but then again, it's only because... You have made a deal with them. So if you work on this, then we'll be like this. You know, and that's all they really want to hear. And then that's the only reason why they'll agree to change. But then again, when they start to feel like they've lost control, they'll say things like, okay, now it's time for me to set the stakes higher because... If you want to be with me and you want to be treated right, you got to treat me right as well. And you're like, first of all, I've been treating you right. Now, hold on now. Now, you wait just a minute. I've been treating you right. That's all I do. All I get back from you is bad treatment, you know. Constant criticism, sarcasm, bullying, control. Long as you get your needs met, you're fine. You don't think about me though. It's all about you and I'm tired of it. So it's either change or we're done. And the narc, you know, that's the only reason why they agree to um everything. So you know, you decided to set those stakes higher for you, if anything. They're very unoriginal. They repeat things to you that you told them. It's like, stop copying off of what I say. Be original. You're only saying this to me because I told you that. And now you kind of feel played out of a position because fingers are pointing at you and you need to do something to hold yourself accountable so that I can... You know, I can see this change. I can feel it. And again, they're not really willing to do that. It's getting boring to them at this point. So now they're pretending like they need to point out your flaws and you need to change this. And you're like, whatever, you know, whatever. Don't even try with me. So the narcissist quickly flips the script 
and makes it all about them again in hopes to take control and put you back where you were when you called them out. You know, narcissists are slick. So you have to stay on your A game and stay on top of things with them because if not, they'll fall back into that position they held in the beginning of the relationship. And I'm not advising anyone to stay in a relationship with a narcissist, but I am advising you on how to deal with them while you're in the relationship with them because some of us live with narcissists and it's not easy to depart like for others who are just ending a friendship or if you work with one, you know, um, when you're dealing with a narcissistic coworker, you're only dealing with that for so many hours of the day and you go home, you, you do take it home with you. Y'all know, y'all already know. I've spoke about that. The majority of the videos would kind of blew me up with my NARC channel based off the experience I had with a NARC coworker. But it's more easier to kind of get away from one, you know, when it's like that than it is in a relationship or when you live together because you're on, you're sharing a lease, you're sharing a contract. And when things are going good for the narcissist, they all in it. But when it's going bad, it's like they always expect you to hold your end of the contract up. But when they feel like they're losing, they'll leave everything on you to deal with. You know, they'll leave everything on you. That's a burden. Narcissists are so slick. You know, we usually miss those red flags in the beginning, but then they get kind of sloppy, sloppy and we see them often throughout the relationship. So when we finally call them out again and hold them accountable, either they'll do it or they'll they'll stop and then they'll start back again. You know, it's all about a control and power thing with them. And they'll try to make you believe that it goes both ways. Which it does in any relationship, but, you know, both people can work on their part in the relationship. But a narcissist, again, they're not really doing the work that's needed to have a healthy relationship. And I'm willing, I'm, I'm willing to bet anything that they're the main cause of the toxicity in the relationship. You know, the person only answers to the narcissist, responds to the narcissist. If the narcissist called them names, then you call the narc a name and it's a back and forth. So it's like if you go before a judge, they're going to say both of y'all need to cut it out. Both of y'all are a little wrong. And it's like you're only reacting to an action from the narcissist. But the judge is not going to rule based off that. Because a lot of judges are not judging the situation based off a personality disorder. You know, it just is kind of difficult to explain. But, you know, and I know y'all probably saying I'm dragging this, but it's it's just like it's hard for even a person who's like a, a therapist sometimes probably find it difficult to explain narcissistic behavior, especially your position with them in a relationship when you have been trying to figure out ways to be with them and not have to deal with with their toxic behaviors you just want to you just want peace in your relationship and they're not going to give you peace if you decide i'm going to do things my way for a minute so you're on your own okay and then that kind of neglects them to where okay you're not meeting my needs so i'm gonna have to shake things up a little bit you'll never have peace with the narcissist in a relationship and they want you to think okay well maybe i was overthinking you know and they mess with your head like that. People who have been with narcissists, they know how they really mess with your head. Like sometimes you be thinking you done figured it all out and all right, all right, you can't come at me like that no more. I'm going to show you. And then they're, they're very slick. They come up behind you with something else. That's just how you are. That's what you're dealing with with them. And trust me, 
I know what I'm talking about. I've been there and I've shared my experience with you dealing with them. You give them the benefit of the doubt after you call them out. You want them to work on their self if they want to be with you, mostly for them. But it's all a power play at the end of the day with the narcissist. Because they just want to take back their position of controlling you and controlling the relationship, you know. And they get deep in their emotions. They jump to conclusions. They think that you're just trying to play them out of a position of being in control over their self. But it's not about that. It's about teaching them how to treat you. And if they can't see it that way, then there's no hope in a future of being together. You know, narcissists also have this red flag phrase they like to use, like, to let you know that they don't respect your wishes in a relationship. You know, because you have set rules to try to reconstruction it. So they'll agree with you in the beginning. It's fine and it's okay. And then they'll start to show you like, look, this has gone on too long. I, nah, you're going to have to do the same for me. You know, they just try to play your mind and it's just a cycle. And it's a never ending cycle. You know, they try to make you crazy. They really try to make you crazy like you're just making things up. See, we went through all that for nothing. That's, nothing was never wrong with us. See, they just want to hurry up and get you back to being playing that part that you've always played that made them feel like, you know, they could keep it going. If you don't give them nothing to play with, which is your mind, then the narcissist, they will lose it. They don't know what else to do with themselves because you take that kind of power from them. You know, they will start to play like, I miss you so much and we wasted time doing these things. I can't wait till things go back to the way it was, you know, and I'm just going to love you, love you, love you, love you. And I'm not going to let you go. And I don't care if it make you mad. That kind of shows you a bully side of them. And it shows that they really don't have respect for you because you probably told them pointed out certain little things. I want you to stop doing this. I want you to stop doing that. You know, where is there anything you need me to stop doing? They're fine with you, so they can't point nothing out. They just want you to stop pointing out what they do. And it's like, well, I'll stop pointing it out when you stop doing it. <laughs> you know, it just goes to show their feelings about you and they don't have respect for you. And they are not willing to change. They will never change. So those are the red flag signs of a narcissist. When you hold them accountable and expect them to change. Trust me, it won't happen. They don't feel like they're doing anything wrong. Even though they are. They are very emotionally unstable to ever see things that way. And they are very illogical thinkers. They have to always be on top and in control and have power over you, you know. So you have to deal with it the best way you know how for what's it worth. You know, and I understand that sometimes you got to kind of play the game with them. But it's not about just playing the game with them. It's about playing enough of it to keep your sanity and keep your peace and keep your distance but you still have to set boundaries though with the narcissist even living with them it's difficult it's not going to be an easy process it's not going to be an easy situation to live in until you're able to depart from the narcissist and, and really just discard them you know you got to find ways to deal with them that doesn't take away your sanity and your peace, you know. They'll always feel like they got to be on top and in power. So, you know, I'm just letting you know now. It's a total waste of time thinking they're going to change because they're set in their ways. They have a habit of being who they are. And they don't have true intentions of changing. So that concludes this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. And I will talk to you soon.